Hello Year One, and welcome back to Mr. Well Her Music. This is my cajon. It's a drum box. And the word cajon means crate or box. So yes, it's a drum in a box. And it's great because it's got so many different sounds. You've got a nice low bass in the middle. Then you've got that sound you can kind of hear rattling around. You've got the snare. And then you can make different sounds by using your foot as well. Making it higher and lower pitch, which is great fun. So all those different combinations of sound makes it really interesting. I think it's a great instrument, but you probably don't have a cajon where you are. So to make these different sounds, we're going to have to find a slightly different way. So you need to be sat on a chair and you need a table because that's going to be the easiest way to do this, which is table drumming. So I'm all ready to go. I've got my chair, I've got my table. I'm gonna use my cajon as a table. And let's get started. Here's what we need to know. This is our grid that we're going to use. Four beats. One, two, three, four. We need to know what these four symbols mean. RH means right hand. LH means left hand. RF means right foot. LF means left foot. I think that's all quite simple. Let's start really easy, shall we? We're going to go. Left hand, right hand, left hand. With me. Hand one, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Let's make it a little bit harder. You can see on beat three, we're going to play our left hand twice. You ready? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. How did you find that? Let's change it again. Let's put our feet involved. So this time, it was our left hand, right hand, then left foot, then right foot. You ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Let's make it slightly more difficult. So on one, we're going to play our left hand twice. Two, we're going to play our right hand twice. Then we're going to play left foot and right foot again. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Four. One and two and 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 three. Four. One more time. One and two and three. Four. Now let's make it more tricky. We're going to do two things at the same time now. So we're going to play right hand and right foot together. Then we're going to play our left hand. Then we're going to play our right hand and our right foot together again. And our left hand. Can you do that with me? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One more time. And one, two. Let's make that more difficult. We're going to go right hand, right foot again to start with. And then we're going to play two left hands. Then we do right hand and right foot and two left hands. So it goes one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three. One more time. One, 
I think you're ready for a big challenge. Are you? Let's have a go at this one. So it starts right hand, right foot again. And then you go right hand, left hand. And then you play left hand and left foot. And then play left hand and right hand. And that pattern repeats. Let's look at that again, a lot more tricky. Right hand and right foot together. Right hand to left hand. Left hand and right foot. Left hand to right hand. And then it repeats. So it goes one, two, and three. Four, and one, two, and three. Four, and do you need that a little bit slower? Let's try it a little bit slower. One, two, and three. Four, and one, two, and three. Four, and one, two, and three. Four, and one, two, and three. Who's ready for a little bit faster? If you're not, don't worry, you can take this video back and have a little go at it again. But for those of you that are ready, one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and 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 one. Oh, how fast can you play that pattern before you start making mistakes? That's a challenge, have a go at that by yourself. But here is your challenge for today. I am giving you a blank grid. You can download it from the description box below and print it off, or you can just draw it out yourself. You are going to come up with your own table drumming patterns. So you've got your right foot, left foot, right hand, left hand. And it's up to you how you play, how difficult you make your patterns or how easy. I would recommend only putting two things in each box because if not it starts getting a little bit difficult. You can try three or four if you want. Three is very difficult and so is four. So one or two things in each box. That's going to make it easy for you. So over to you to do your own table drumming. Good luck and have fun.